Okay. Babe, do my do my eyelashes look like little brooms? Exactly. <laughs> I put fake eyelashes on today for the first time in ever because I've always tried and I attempted it and I finally like just, you know, really took my time and put these bad boys on and he says I look like a freaking broom. <laughs> So I asked you guys to ask us some questions on my Instagram. So I guess today we're going to be filming a family Q&A. So let's go ahead and get into the questions. Yeah, so that is actually a really good question. And I just wanted to take a minute and thank all of my India and all of my overseas subscribers because I can see my geographics on Instagram. YouTube and I know I do have a lot of Indian subscribers and overseas subscribers So I just wanted to say thank you guys for like watching my videos and supporting me it truly means so much We definitely would love to visit India um, But we just probably have to save up we definitely when the kids get older We, we want to travel to different places all around the world and India of course is on our list So yeah, probably not anytime soon just because it takes a lot of money and we have the kids with us all the time so definitely sometime in the future hopefully but I also wanted to mention that I wanted to do a video just for you guys so let me know what type of video you guys want to see from me like any special request I want to do trying India food for the first time or like trying Indian snacks let me know what type of video you guys want to see from me okay so I also noticed I did get uh, a lot of questions about YouTube how much we get paid or what's my best advice for becoming success successful on YouTube so I'm gonna go ahead and answer all of those so let's go ahead and start off with the juicy one how much we get paid um, so it all depends actually like sponsorships that's like what we like if I do a sponsorship they're so nice enough to like pay me to make a video yeah so with sponsorships I always and only take the ones that I that I generally want to make like a video I know you guys would love to watch um, and also something that's just integrated and of course only products that I know that I love and I know that you guys would love too so yeah usually with just sponsorships that's where like I make like you know a good amount of money from and with YouTube YouTube I'm, <laughs> I'm not super successful guys I feel like I'm so grateful and I feel so humble with all the people that watch my videos but AdSense really doesn't pay too much for my channel since I do have lower views than a lot of other bigger YouTubers what there's like a with your channel and like there's like a general like they say every 500,000 views is like you can get $500 oh and if you look at your channel it's basically almost just right yeah, yeah so wow that's a lot of views though <laughs> Yeah, that's all like I feel like for the people that get like million like a million views or like 500,000 views on every single video like they're making good money on Their AdSense, but for me since I am a smaller YouTube channel I our check usually for AdSense looks about like a thousand five hundred just with the AdSense, but yeah, so Yeah, I don't think I've ever talked about that, but that is how much we make on just AdSense Okay, little Miss Emma. You ready? Mm -hmm. It's your turn. I'm gonna ask you some questions. Are you ready for the hot seat? Yeah. Okay, what is your favorite Disney princess? Um, Cinderella. And Dad Ram and then Ariel and every princess. You like all the princesses? Yeah, if you got water right there, in case you get too nervous. Is it, or is it juicy? Okay. I think so. I'm gonna ask you the juicy ones. Definitely not the jealous one. Like, oh, what? I don't go through your phone. Like, yeah, you do. No. Mm -mm. <laughs> every what? Like once a week or every few days? She's like, oh, I'm gonna check up on you. I'm gonna check up on you. Snatch my from my phone yeah, out of my hand. I've done that so long. You always do that. Don't lie. No, I just I know he's not like talking to anybody. I'm just like, what is he purchasing type of thing? What's he like oh, uh, yeah, right. searching up? That's what I'm looking at. <laughs> no, like if you're DMing anybody, I'm not worried about that. I don't know. I just feel lucky, and I <laughs> I flaunt it. <laughs> Go on my Instagram. I know. I'm Show off. Talk, I'm like, <laughs> do you have your phone on you? I literally. I'm literally on his screensaver. Like, I'm like, why don't you have your kids? I'm like, why do you have me? I'm so ugly. <laughs> Stop. 
I was <laughs> so awkward before. I can't even believe I still am super awkward, but I definitely came out of my shell so much more. But yeah, I was really awkward at first. Um, it just it was so hard for me, especially since like everything I went through as a kid, like just being so like not I never went to school like towards the end of my school years. I never went to school. You can watch my draw my life if you want to know more about like my my childhood and all of that. I've always been introverted and very like alone type of thing. So it was really hard for me to like go and like talk to other people and just to have a camera. But I knew I wanted to do it, but like it was so hard for me to adjust. Like I feel like other YouTubers kind of broke out of their shell faster than I did. That's it right now. I feel comfortable being on camera, but in the beginning, oh my gosh, I should private some of my videos. That's how embarrassed I am about. You did. I did. I oh yeah, we did. I couldn't. Yes, I because I, I was getting like comments and I saw on like those early videos like dang Liz like you were so comfortable on the camera now. Yeah, I've heard like you come so far to comment on that video. How far you so came? embarrassing. They were so cringy. I could not like I could not. You should put a little scene. No, I can't. okay. I'm gonna put a little scene. <laughs> so I thought it would be fun to start my own channel and give other moms like me advice. But I'll get into the video now. Okay, why don't you like taking pictures? You just don't like it? Why though? Do you have a reason why? Yeah. Why? What's the reason? Because it takes too long. It takes too long? <laughs> <laughs> See? You guys heard it from the boy himself. My favorite part of school was the ends. <laughs> So there is something that I am going to be launching soon and I know I've sh talked about this on my Instagram. If you guys follow me there, you know like I've been having a preset. But the thing is, I was supposed to come out with it a while ago, but I've kind of just been tweaking it a little bit and kind of just going back and forth on, I don't know, and also, and also I'm just like a little nervous just to like, because this is like the first thing I'm ever coming out with to like purchase from me. So that's why I'm like a little bit like back and forth with it. And I've just been procrastinating. Honestly, we've both been. I'm just like a perfectionist and I want it to be perfect. Yeah, so my theme was like a little bit like orangey, like, I don't know, it was like peachy, rose. But then I kind of wanted it to be a little bit more pinky. So that's why I kind of been back and forth. But I am going to be coming up with that presets very soon. Um, he's actually going to, you're actually going to work on it tonight. So we could hopefully release it to be coming up. So expect that preset to come out guys and I promise it's not going to take forever again. Like I promised you guys that. <laughs> but with other things like um, diaper bags or outfits, I don't think so. Since I do love cleaning so much, I might do something later on. Honestly, just don't know how to come out with a full on product myself and just like seeing like the makeup people's like drama, I'm like terrified of like, <laughs> you know, coming out with something. But a preset will be available very soon. And if you guys want to see how my Instagram looks, if you're interested on having your feed look like my feed, like the color scheme and all of that, it will definitely be available to purchase very soon. I hate the hours. It's it's like a nine to five job basically as a respiratory therapist still but nine to five and i don't like the hours definitely want to find something different soon but it's not i still like it i've been low-key struggling guys <laughs> i'm not used to this like he's usually always have been like three days a week night shift so i'm used to having him around to help a lot yeah. so it's been a struggle for both <laughs> of us honestly but we're sticking it in we yeah. have goals we want yeah so. money's good and the it's not bad. All right, so next one is tea right here. It's definitely a little bit controversial. Um, well, like not this exact question, but I'm gonna tell you guys like a little secret that I've been hiding from you guys for a while. So um, this one says, are you planning to wean Ezra soon? Just stuff like that, like, you know, when I am plan to stop breastfeeding him. So, you know, I told you guys like that Emma, was not breastfeeding anymore or anything like that. I think I told made like a full on video. I forgot what video it was, but I mentioned like she's not breastfeeding anymore. So she did stop breastfeeding breastfeeding like I think three three years old. And then when I became pregnant with Ezra, like sorry guys, I suck at telling stories. But yeah, so she stopped breastfeeding at three years old. A couple of months later I was pregnant with Ezra. So then she started breastfeeding again. 
And then she continued until she was about four years old. And of course, I probably shouldn't have like, you know, let her breastfeed again. So it was just, it was just so strange. It was like so weird. And I didn't like, I didn't want to like make a video about it or talk about it because I knew I was going to get a bunch of hate and I probably am because I'm going to be sharing this with you guys. Yeah, she's not breastfeeding anymore, but she breastfed all the way up till four years old. So I'm a little bit nervous. Hopefully Ezra <laughs> weans off okay. Obviously, he's probably not going to breastfeed till four years old. <laughs> Hopefully not. Um, he already seems like since he's a boy, he's so active. He's so outgoing. He just wants to be on his own. He doesn't want me to touch him or anything like that. Actually, sometimes he's all over me. But usually, like if we're out and stuff, he's just like on his own. He wants to be playing everywhere and all of that. So I already see like signs of him not really wanting to breastfeed. I would like have to come like and be like, okay, like, you know, let me try to put you to sleep. So honestly, we'll see. Like I've never been by the book. I kind of just been, you know, doing what feels right. So yeah, I don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll stop breastfeeding maybe like three, three and a half, which I think is fine. It's not like, you know, too old. I think three and a half is a good age to stop breastfeeding. Emma, she took a long time to get off the Chi Chi. So hopefully Ezra is a little bit quicker than she was. All right, Ezra, it's your turn. Why are you so travieso? <laughs> huh? Okay, so next question. Any plans on buying a forever home. I also got some other questions like about the same subject. I'll leave them right here for you guys to see. Um, yeah, so plans to buy a forever home. So this one, if you guys don't know, we are renting this one. The owner is so, so nice. She, she doesn't raise the rent every time we have to re renew the lease. So as of right now, we don't have any plans to be buying a home anytime soon. We're honestly just trying to save up probably now until the next two, two and a half years, hopefully. And we do plan to purchase a home here in California. Definitely not like near LA, not near like San Diego. Um, <laughs> it's kind of hard because I don't want to like say specifically, but we are more like valley people like where the traffic is not really that heavy where we live is so perfect i love how like calm this area is so i definitely plan to purchase a house here in this area since i love it so much recital update can you tell them about recital can we have saturday and are you excited yeah are you nervous yeah you are yeah but you did so good I'm already nervous. you're nervous what do you want to be when you grow up a chef. Ooh, what do you want to cook? Uh, boiled eggs. Boiled eggs? <laughs> and what else? And cows. Ah! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Ew, so good. Good. What was your favorite part? My favorite part it was the rides. What are we in line for? <laughs> She's excited to meet the prettiest princess of them all. What is the most annoying thing Ethan does to you? P.S. Love you and Ethan. Love you too. What is the most annoyingest thing that Ethan does to you? What frustrates you about Ethan? Don't play with me. You get mad when he doesn't play with you? Aw, oh, Ethan's laughing over there in the corner. <laughs> Ethan's waiting for his turn. Hmm. So I think I got my first camera in 2010. I took like a photography class I had. Yeah, but I didn't learn anything there. I basically just watched YouTube videos. I can recommend a whole bunch. I just learned through there. For stuff like that, I don't think, I, don't, I wouldn't recommend school because you can learn so much on your own, so much online. You can save that money and put it towards like actual gear. And what I would recommend, like if you're just starting, like anything basically, go use, don't get anything new, don't spend all this money, any camera can take a good picture. 
So it sometimes it got in the way of our like day to day life and it kind of maybe got annoying a little bit, but not like we did it together. It was like a team. So how we are, like how far we've come together. I know you don't really see me much, but I'm behind the scenes. I'm All a behind the scenes together. guy. Yeah. yeah. So it's nice how far we've come together. And he's the one that masters the cleaning videos too. Like I'll give him the props because he's the, he films my cleaning videos and he edits them so perfectly. Yeah, like I do the vlog, so I make, and I still like clean it up, make it look, you know, got my little touch yeah. there too. Yeah, hey, I don't oh, touch the vlogs. That's your <laughs> You're cute. Okay, who is your favorite sibling? Ezra or Emma? Who's the favorite? Ezra. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because it was used a lot. Has anyone from your school recognized you from YouTube? They have actually. There's actually one kid that recognized Ethan and he told him that he watches his videos. Me two. Two friends? I want to be um, a firefighter. Ah, what a good pick. How are you so cute? Why are you growing up so fast? Mama or Dada? What do you like to eat the most? Okay, so that is it for today's video. Sorry, it was a little bit last minute, but I did want to get up a video for you guys. There is a couple other videos coming your way this week but just waiting on approval and they will be up very soon. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you guys feel like you know me more, especially if you're new and you just subscribed recently. Um, this is our family. And yeah, so I hope you guys feel like you know us a little bit more. He is travieso, for real. He's crazy. Oh my gosh, these lashes, I need to take off. <laughs> I feel like a real broom. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and we'll talk to you guys in our next one. Bye. 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 Oh my love. I don't know.